The B-1 is a supersonic variable sweep wing, heavy bomber, used by the United States Air Force. The B-1 was first envisioned in the 1960s as a platform that would combine the Mach 2 speed of the B-58 Hustler with the range and payload of the B-52, and was meant to ultimately replace both bombers. This led to a redesign as the B-1B, which differed from the B-1A by having a lower top speed of Mach 2 at high altitude, but improved the low altitude speed to Mach 1. The electronics were also extensively improved, and the airframe was improved to allow takeoff with the maximum possible fuel and weapons load. The combination of the high cost of the aircraft, the introduction of the AGM-86 cruise missile that flew the same basic speed and distance, and early work on the stealth bomber all significantly reduced the need for the B-1. The USAF selected North American Aviation's B-70 Valkyrie for this role, a six-engine bomber that could cruise at Mach 3 at high altitude 21,000 meter. Although effective, the B-52 was not ideal for the low-level role. This led to a number of aircraft designs known as penetrators, which were tuned specifically for long-range, low-altitude flight. The B-1B is 147 feet long, and when fully extended, its wings span about 137 feet. The plane's four General Electric turbofan engines can accelerate it past the speed of sound at its operating ceiling of 40,000 feet, but its normal cruising speed is subsonic. With the wings fully swept back, the B-1B can drop to 60 meters above the ground and fly at 670 miles per hour. The plane can carry eight air-launched cruise missiles or 24S rams. It can also carry up to 24 nuclear bombs or 500-pound conventional bombs. With a weapon load of 37,000 pounds, the B-1B can fly 4,600 miles without refueling. Carrying the largest conventional payload of both guided and unguided weapons in the Air Force inventory, the multi-mission B-1 is the backbone of America's long-range bomber force. It can rapidly deliver massive quantities of precision and non-precision weapons against any adversary anywhere in the world at any time. Four prototypes of this long-range, high-speed, Mach 2 strategic bomber were developed and tested in the mid-1970s, but the program was canceled in 1977 before going into production. Major changes included an additional structure to increase payload by 74,000 pounds, an improved radar, and reduction of the radar cross-section by an order of magnitude. The first production B-1 flew in October 1984, and the first B-1B was delivered to Dias Air Force Base, Texas, in June 1985. During the first step, a metal cylindrical sleeve was welded into the aft attachment point of each set of B-1 pylon attachments. This prevented installing B-1 air-launched cruise missile pylons. During the second step two, nuclear armament unique cable connectors in each of the B-1 weapons bays were removed. This prevented the pre-arm signal from reaching the weapons. The B-1B holds almost 50 world records for speed, payload, range, and time of climb in its class.